morning, everybody. Uh, this is just Joycelyn. Uh, again, I am a performing arts um, <laughs> educator. I'm a creative and I'm also a believer. And you have just tuned in to watch Morning Inspiration uh, in school in a pandemic. Um, so, and this is, what day is this? Okay, this is day nine. This is day nine, because tomorrow is day 10. And uh, if you tried to tune in yesterday, I'm so sorry. I was not feeling well on today's Thursday, Tuesday afternoon. But I was like, oh, I'm just gonna be okay. And then I woke up that morning and just did not feel great at all. So I did not go to work. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, I know I mentioned, I shared with you guys last week that I took a COVID test. And so I'm not, um, I'm not negative, but you know, I'm kind of not feeling um, too hot and I don't, I'm not sure I'm making a, I made an appointment with my doctor uh, to go in because I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the mask or the type of mask I have or you know and so I'm going in and, and trying to see what's kind of going on because I'm just you know I'm having like these headaches and you know and and, and I'm, I'm it's not um yeah I'm not feeling not feeling too hot you know so you know just be in prayer for me as I am in prayer for you and um, uh, today's scripture that's actually on my uh, heart and on my mind for, for this morning is Ephesians uh, 2 and 10, which basically says that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. And so um, God has made us, he's created us to do the things that he has called us to do. And, you know, it's interesting. You know, some of us, without, no matter what stage of life you're in, uh, you get to a certain point where God has you in one place and then he might move you to another place and then he has you doing one job, but then he shifts and, you know, gives you opportunity to learn more skills and then you go to another place. And so I think as we are his workmanship, we have to allow God to shape us and to make us and to mold us. And sometimes it's hard because we're, if you, especially if you get stuck in one place and you start feeling that comfort and you kind of like, oh, I got this, you know, you kind of feel good there. You know, you know, I might not want to move, but you know, when I think about a carpenter and my dad is always like making stuff, like he is the king of, if he don't have it, he gonna try to make it. If something broke, he gonna try to fix it. You know, and I even think about um, him making things and shaping it and moving, you know, and, 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 um, and having to make adjustments. He will take whatever that item is and, you know, cut it and shape it and sand it and mold it to make it fit um, the, the job or the purpose that it has. And so even in that same place, I believe that God is doing that with us. And so um, as we get ready to go to God in prayer, I, I pray that our hearts are open to allow him to shape us so that we can be more of the workmanship that he's called us to be. Amen. Amen. Let's go to him in prayer. God, we thank you so much today for all that you are doing in our lives, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are shaping us and making us, Lord God. You're molding us so that we might continue to be that workmanship that you created us in your son, Lord God. And so, God, I just pray, Lord God, for the times that, um, that pruning might hurt. I pray for the times that we it might be confusion because it's not the way that we want it to go, but we put our hands and our hearts and our trust in you and help us, Lord God, to trust you that you know the plans that you have for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope in the future. So God, we love you, we thank you, and we praise you. We also ask a special prayer for our brothers and sisters who don't know you. I pray that they will realize that all they have to do is believe that Jesus Christ, your son, died on the cross for their sins and a rose again. And if they believe that, you are now part of the body of Christ and I welcome you. And if you are somebody you're not sure, please know that Christ is standing right there waiting to receive you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to push through and do the best job that I can. And I pray that he continues to give you the strength that you need um, to be a blessing to someone and um, to just do what he's calling you to do. All right, you guys be blessed. Have an awesome day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.